Greetings and good afternoon. Welcome to Friday Reflection and Prayer Time. Thank you for joining me. I want to read just one words from 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Some of us, uh, we know this uh, verse by heart. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. This is the living word of God, and let God's people say, thanks be to God. After reading uh, this verse, I drew a circle. You see the circle here in the screen behind me. After drawing a circle, I wrote at the center of the circle, God is faithful. And these three words are very powerful words, God is faithful. And these three words, God is faithful, are located at the center of this verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Then around the circle, I began to write some sentences. The first sentence I wrote on the left side of the circle, we are not free from temptations. What does it mean? God does not promise to keep our lives from trials and temptation. God does not exempt us from trials and temptations. All people are being tempted. All people face trials and troubles. Then on the right side of the circle, I wrote, all temptations are bearable, or we can overcome and endure any kind of temptations. That's what Paul is saying in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. We are not free from temptation, and all temptations can be overcome, can be endured. All temptations are bearable. For God's people, no temptation can overtake us. We can overtake the temptations. Trials and temptations in our lives are no different from others, from others' experience. God will make sure that we can endure the temptations and the trials that we face. Then on top of the circle and also bottom of the circle, I wrote the same sentence twice. God provides all we need to stand up against all temptations. So I wrote these three words you may not be able to see on the screen. God provides strength. God provides grace. God provides power. God provides everything we need sufficiently to come out of trials and temptations. 
That's exactly why we affirm, declare, and believe and are convinced that God is faithful. Because God is faithful, we face trials and temptations boldly. Because God is faithful, we deal with the temptations and trials courageously. Because God is faithful, we are able to overcome and overtake trials and temptations confidently. We depend upon God's promises because of his faithfulness. Because God is faithful, we let our lives changed and transformed from temptations to victorious life. God is our provider. He provides promises to face and deal with all kinds of trials and temptations with his grace, with his power, and with his strength. He shows us a way out of trials and temptations. Yes, temptations are common. Yes, temptations can be endured. And for our trials and temptations, God is the source of the provision of grace, strength, and power. And thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for Jesus who understands what it is likely to be tempted in life. Thank you for the opportunity that we receive God, his grace and his power and his strength so that we are able to endure it, to face it, to deal with it, and eventually to overcome the trials, temptations, and all the situations, difficult situations. Thank you, Jesus, because you are able to sympathize with all of our weaknesses. Thank you that there is no temptation that we have to face that is not common to other people and their experiences. We thank you for the promise that you will provide a way out, a way of escape from trials and temptations by grace, your grace, by strength and your strength, by power and your power, and through our faith in Christ. Thank you, Lord, for this verse of promise this afternoon. Lead us and guide us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you all uh, for joining me and God's blessings of grace and power and mercy and health and strength. God be with all of us till we meet again next Friday. Bye now.